Morning guys, it's James from Advanced In Car. We are sat in a Fiat Ducato 2009. This is a coach built motorhome and we've done quite a few of these now, but today we're gonna follow on in our series of the Halos. This particular one is the top of the range. So this is the INE F904, but this is the DC, this is the camper version. Now, if you've got a Fiat Ducato or a motorhome, coach bill or whatever, this design had been converted, then this is the model that we have fitted in here and what we're gonna showcase today. So what we've done is uh, Tim does his usual splash screen. The splash screen shows the Besser car and the Alpine logo because this is a swift Besser car coach built vehicle. And the halo sits in here beautifully. So when this car came out of the factory, it came with a single pocket above and a JVC single radio at, at the bottom. Just an FM CD player, no problem at all. So because people want more these days, especially with motorhomes and other bits and pieces, you want Bluetooth, you want DAB, you want FM, you want your music streaming, you want your USB and you want your HDMI. So what we're gonna do is, let's just go to DAB radio. Okay, so DAB radio, you've got all your mod cons. Now in this particular vehicle, we have fitted a glass mounted uh, windscreen antenna which don't always work brilliantly in terms of motorhomes because they can't see through the vehicle. So we can fit other options from wing mirror antennas to body mount antennas to make sure that you're getting the best reception um, for wherever you're traveling to. Um, most of the time, a lot of motorhomes stay within the UK, others go abroad to um, Europe, Spain, France, and other places like that. So going back over to the DAB side of things, you've got all the usual features and functions on the DAB. You've then got uh, the FM radio. Not many people use it anymore. Admittedly, I don't use FM. I drive around in the motorhome and use the DAB side of things. Bluetooth, so we've already got a phone paired up to it and uh, we've got two or three phones. As you can see, you can pick and select which phone you want to have connected for mobile phone use. And then also you can have one for phone and also one for music so that you can go back through and you can go into your main menu and select your Bluetooth music. So that's really nice because it means a wireless connectivity for playing your music. You don't have to have wires everywhere and your co-pilot or passenger can operate all of those bits and pieces. Now, unlike the ILX F903, this is the INE F904. And what you'll find is with that is that you've got navigation built in. This is the very latest TomTom Tom mapping comes with three years free updates for mapping from the point of installation. Because we're an Alpine Excellence dealer, you get two years warranty, providing we fit it here at our Pool HQ. And this particular one, because it's the camper dedicated version, it means that you can enter your, um, not your weight, because that's ridiculous. You can enter your length, your height, and your width of your vehicle. Now that means that you don't have to worry about single track roads, you don't have to worry about low bridges, and you can enter all these other different variants and bits and pieces. Now in a camper van, you don't really need to care about stuff like that because you're in a normal sized van. But on a vehicle like this, which is seven and a half meters long uh, and a good 10 foot tall, you need to be aware of such things. So you've got your one touch navigation, but just because you've got navigation, doesn't mean to say that you then don't have your car play Android or Android Auto. So the other good thing is I'm going to go through now and just show you one of the things that I like using in here and we'll go through to the CarPlay and the Android Auto in a second. So as soon as I plug in the Apple lead, I'm sorry if it looks messy if you can see it on the camera, it's only because this is our demo stuff. You're going to need the genuine Apple connector and this is the AV connector and that's lightning to HDMI. You plug in the HDMI lead and you plug in the power lead. Now we've put in a really nice and neat socket here. I don't know if Tim can zoom in on that. We've taken, because the Fiat Giacato comes with a dual socket. You don't need two these days. Most devices are USB um, standard or USB-C. So what we've done is we've fitted the Alpine accessory and sunk it in there so it's nice and neat. So when you're ready, you just plug in your two devices. It doesn't have to go there, you can put it where you want. So once you've plugged in your USB and your HDMI, you just then get your phone, plug it in, and it'll immediately start charging. 
You should get on your iPhone your symbol here. Don't worry about the fact that it says connected USB is not supported, as long as it then brings up your new menu. So once you've plugged in and brought up your new menu, 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 uh, then what you can do is you can connect and this will then mirror image what's on your phone and then you can watch things like YouTube and other bits and pieces or AirPlay. So let's just put the phone down like so. Let's just turn it up. Now you can set up your um, quality of your um, playback on your phone and that will then relate to this. So this is one of our videos, so it doesn't matter if the volume's up. And that means that, depending on how your system is set up, you can watch videos and content whilst you're parked up um, or in slow moving traffic for off-road use only, of course, for legality side. But what you can also do is, using the HDMI and the USB here, you've got a direct access to Netflix uh, or Amazon Prime. So we've got in the motorhome here um, a, a Fire Stick or you can use a Google Chromecast. And you plug it in, you then stream it onto your device here. So if this was plugged into the leisure battery or running off the leisure battery, you've then got a source for watching, streaming a film. And it means it unlocks the whole potential of doing stuff because not always you're parked up and sat in the back of the motorhome watching TV. If you are in France or traveling and you've pulled up and you're in a traffic jam or parked and you can't go anywhere you can sit here and watch a film which is pretty cool or even BBC iPlayer or whatever you want to do okay so let's go out of there I'm now going to unplug the HDMI and I'm just going to give you a quick demo of the CarPlay so get rid of that plug in the USB then plug in the phone should automatically register and recognize it, like so. CarPlay symbol appears down the bottom, and you can click on here. Now I've gone straight into Spotify. Um, those of you that have used CarPlay before, and we do lots of videos like this, uh, I don't wanna bore you all, especially a lot of our subscribers that watch our videos, you've got all the main features and functions. So depending on what you use, either Waze, Google Maps, WhatsApp, Spotify. So if you go into Waze like so, You've got all your bits and pieces, and you can then navigate your way to anywhere using your SIM card in your phone for latest traffic information and updates. Same with Google Maps. You've now got satellite view of Google Maps, your destination, so you can choose to use the inbuilt TomTom -Tom nav on this model, or you can use the Waze or the Google uh, Maps. Again, Spotify, you've got all your bits and pieces, and because it's an Alpine, you also get access to the Alpine app as well. Now. We've also got the Android Auto. We don't do as many Android Autos because we're all slightly biased here at Advanced because we all use Apple devices. But we have now got a resident uh, Android device, so I'm gonna plug that in now. This is uh, Tim's Android tablet. Gonna plug it in, like so. That will then recognize the device. And once I've opened it up, Okay, so let's just open it up. Continue. Those of you eagle-eyed will notice that uh, I'm not used to doing the Android. We have done it a few times actually, but um, yeah, so that's gonna plug in and that's gonna load up. Okay, so giving it a chance just to quickly load up, you'll now notice that on the screen, the CarPlay logo is gone and the Android Auto. So click your button. You can then put your device safely down in the glove box or wherever you want to go. And you've got now access to your mapping, your Spotify, and you can go into your main menu and you can select all the bits and pieces. So you've got your Play Store, you've got your mobile phone, you've got your Waze, you've got your calendar. There's a whole load of other bits and pieces that work uh, depending on whether you've downloaded the apps. So Android Auto. Fully functional on a 9 inch display, CarPlay, you've got um, iPhone mirroring and that so you can watch your Netflix, your Amazon Fire Stick for Amazon Prime as well. So you've got everything you need to do. If you've got steering wheel controls, this will happily link in. This particular model doesn't have any steering wheel controls, um, but it's something that we're looking into to do. And then once you can do that as well, this particular system, so as soon as I put it into reverse, the system will then 
flick over and show a black screen for a reverse a reversing camera but i doubt you can see it on this particular image but we've actually now on this system here got a full 360 high definition camera system fitted um, and that means that we don't need the Alpine screen to work in any way, shape or form for the reversing camera. But as soon as you put it into reverse, the screen image will show the back, the front or whatever you want it to do. Okay, so this is the INE F904 9-inch halo system. It's the floating dash and this is fitted into a 2009 Fiat Ducato. But whether you've got a 2005, 2012 or 2020, the dash is very similar. And we've done lots of systems like this. And this is proving to be extremely popular because of the tablet style display and ease of use because you've got all the mod cons. If you've got a vehicle like this, we also do sound upgrades and security and of course the newest latest thing that we've got is the 360 hd camera system so get in touch send us some pictures of your vehicle and we'll come back to you with some prices don't forget to subscribe and the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk have a good day thanks for watching